Welcome to another episode of Wonders of the World Wide Web. In this episode, we're going to talk about Zoom. But what is Zoom? Zoom is a system that allows companies to have conference calls with up to 10 people. For Zoom, you'll only need a few things. A personal computer with a hard disk and an available parallel port, a picture of yourself, a telephone, a phone subscription, and a Zoom subscription. You'll also need the Zoom installation kit, which includes the Zoom installation diskette, a Zoom box, a PP3 battery, also known as 9 volts, a parallel port cable, a cable to connect your Zoom box to your phone jack, the Zoom instruction manual, the Zoom postage free envelope, and a card with your personal Zoom identification number. Conference calling is older than you might think. Bell Labs was the first company to work on the concept of conference calling in the year 1956. Phone conferencing is expensive, so the company Zoom invented an affordable system that you can buy for only $125 with an additional subscription fee of $5 a month. But how does it work? We'll give you a demonstration. These are the simple steps that every team member needs to do. Step 1. Write your personal identification number and the name of your company and team on the back of a photo of yourself. Put it in the provided postage-free envelope and mail it. Zoom will scan this photo and turn it into an image file. Step 2. Put a 9 volts battery in the battery compartment of your Zoom box and turn the device on. Step 3. Connect your Zoom box into your phone jack with the provided cable. You may have to unplug your phone first. Step 4. Connect your parallel port cable to your Zoom box and to an available parallel port on your computer. Step 5. Connect your phone into the phone jack on the back of the Zoom box. It's at the right of the battery compartment. Step 6. Install the software using the provided installation diskette. This should take less than 15 minutes. Zoom will ask you to select your video card. They support every video card, but we are going to use the VGA card, which supports 256 colors. Wow! Step 7. Start the Zoom software. Zoom will detect that the Zoom box is connected. Step 8. Call the number that you received and dial the code that Zoom gave you. Welcome to Zoom. Please enter your code. Now you'll hear a lot of sounds. Don't hang up your phone. You're receiving photo files of your team members and more information, like the names of your team members. Computer scientists call this downloading. It will take around 50 minutes. The Zoom box contains a slow but good functioning modulator demodulator that will convert bleeping sounds into picture files. Don't worry, you'll only have to do this once. Step 9. As you can see, my Zoom software received information about my company and team. Wow! I can set a time and date for my conference. My computer forwards this to the Zoom box and the Zoom box informs Zoom. Isn't that great? Step 10. I've received the data and I can hang up my phone. It's important that you don't turn off your computer when you expect a meeting. The conference I program will start in 10 minutes. Zoom will automatically call every invited colleague. I'm going to make a cup of coffee in the meantime. Step 11. I I'm so excited. Zoom is about to open the meeting. The phone rings. Ah! I'll have a conference in my own home. We surely live in the future. Step 12. The last step. I pick up the phone and look at the computer screen. Look! Pictures of my team members. My picture is highlighted because I am talking. Let's try it with somebody else. Hello? John? Can you speak? Yes. Can you hear me? I can hear you, John. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Did you notice those bleeps? 
Every time when a team member talks, their Zoom box sends a unique bleep sound to every team member. This bleep lets the computer know who is speaking, and the computer lets you know who is speaking, because it shows who is talking. This is an amazing feature, because the voice of Theo sounds a lot like the voice of John. John and Theo, can you talk to each other? My voice doesn't sound like Theo's. Theo, can you talk to John? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Did you like Joshua Tree? Maybe. Never been there. I mean, U2's new record. No. Okay, thank you. It works. Now let's start our conference. This is a question to everybody. What is your favorite movie? The Sound of Music, Gone with the Wind, The Shining, The Exorcist, St. Elmo's Fire, Close Encounters of the Third I Kind. Okay, I, can I can hear you. Okay, stop everybody, it hear works. Me? Okay, Hello? stop, everybody. Can you hear me? It works. <laughs> you can also mute people with Zoom. Just type Control M and type the person's name. There! Let's test it. John was in my class. He was a real idiot. He thought that the chance to roll a six with dice was 50% because you could roll it or you wouldn't. I can hear you. And I can hear you, Theo. I'm not Theo. I'm John. I was just kidding, John. Okay, everybody, the demonstration is over. Feel free to continue the conference. And now I leave the conference. With Zoom, we are one step closer to the office of the future, where you don't have to go to work, but work from home. Think about the benefits. Less air pollution, you don't have to put nice clothes on. Oh, and it would even save the day during a crisis situation. Imagine that everybody has to work from home because a pandemic conquers the world. Not that that's going to happen. <laughs> Zoom conversations are toll free. So what are you waiting for? Now you can meet your colleagues online.